so today in this video i'll be showing you how to enable hyper v uh, so you have different systems like your windows 10 windows 11 uh, whichever your system consists of uh, it should be either pro enterprise or any other uh, additions except the home uh, so you just what you have to do uh, go in your search bar either it is 7 10 or uh, 11 and type control panel as soon as you see this control panel you, uh, you will find with this interface then go on here programs uh, you will find one more option below that uninstall a program and click on this after clicking on this uh, at the left hand side you will see turn windows feature on or off you click on this after clicking you will be uh, come with an uh, dialog box here you can see here uh, we have uh, various uh, features uh, to enable or disable here at the 9th or 10th column uh, you will find here hyper v as you can see after uh, ticking uh, uncheck the, uh, sorry check this one and click on ok and it will enable your hyper v as you can see searching for required files it will automatically uh, load all the files whichever is required to enable hyper v see here applying changes after applying changes uh, i think it uh, okay uh, we got here and it is asking for restart also we have to restart now and even after restarting uh, if you don't get hyper v then there is alternate method where you have to enable through bios let's first uh, start uh, restart the uh, uh, this pc and let's check whether i, I did I, I got hyper v option or not so i'll restart my computer and i'll continue this recording after that so i've restarted my system and as you can see i have uh, pinned on the taskbar so i will show you and uh, just type in the search bar uh, hyper v manager see i got this option uh, if suppose you are getting any error or this hyper v uh, like here i am showing you hyper v manager it's not showing in your search bar or the start button then what you can do is uh, i will attach one more video where you have to enable through bios so watch that video and after that you will be able to enable this hyper v and suppose if you are hyper v uh, suppose if you type here hyper v even after restart it doesn't open then what you can do is uh, uh, again restart it and go to bios as uh, see here i am doing restart and i will go to bios and i will show you to get into bios we have different uh, keys uh, for different different laptop uh, basically the keys which are used uh, in uh, to go into the bios are uh, f12 f10 like here you can see here uh, this is f10 uh, in my case it is f12 in some cases it can be also escape so you have to click on this any of the buttons f12 f11 f10 or escape uh, now i'll get into bios and i'll show you how to enable uh, uh, hyper v that is virtualization so uh, we'll wait for a second and we'll check so see my system has been re rebooted so i am continuously pressing here see here and i got into bios so uh, what you have to do here is go to bios setting as you can see here click enter after you hit enter see you will be very uh, uh, you will find here various options so it can be also under security in some laptops or systems in my case it is already in the uh, first inter interface itself uh, as you can see in my dashboard so here is uh, there is option virtualization so you have to click here and by default it is enabled suppose if it is not enabled then after enabling hyper v in your windows then too it will not show so you have to make sure you enable this one uh, tick on this and then apply click here apply uh, we do not we did not make any changes so we are not uh, i'm not going to apply anything after that it exit after exiting it will restart your system so let's check whether uh, now it has uh, arrived or not uh, the hyper v manager so now you have configured your Hyper-V. Now I will be showing you how to create your virtual drive, uh, virtual drives and all. Now here after typing Hyper-V, after you enable those things, if you have problem, I have uh, 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 attached uh, every videos. Uh, you can go, you can choose the time codes also to scroll to a particular video, uh, sorry, to a particular time slot, uh, whichever you are facing problem. Suppose if you open the Hyper-V, uh, you will uh, see this interface, uh, first time interface, uh, we don't have any virtual machines, anything. So what you have to do is uh, to create a virtual machine. Uh, so here you can see this is my Hyper-V at the left hand side top corner uh, desktop and my desktop ABD9J. So what you have to do, you have to just right click there. After right clicking, what you have to do is uh, click on new after clicking on you just uh, go to virtual machine and start creating a virtual machine so uh, this is the first uh, step click on next after clicking on next uh, this is your virtual uh, new virtual machine uh, suppose if you want to create a server uh, if uh, suppose if i want to create a pdc server in my 
uh, in my virtual machine uh, so what i have to do is uh, just my, i will type pdc and if you want to uh, store this uh, particular pdc server in different location you can store it but i will choose by default uh, whichever the location is uh, preferred here it is c drive and uh, those things you can see there and then clicking on this uh, we'll click on next after clicking on next there are generation one generation two i will go with generation one then click on next after clicking on next uh, this is your ram uh, when the windows open like windows or server enterprise uh, like uh, suppose how your pc boots how your windows bo boots the same way uh, it required rams to boot so you can uh, leave as it is by default automatically it will take ram uh, depending on on the requirement so click on next after clicking on next uh, there is a connection uh, default switch and not connected so i will keep on not connected uh, we can also connect it later then click on next then after clicking on next you can see that uh, by default it will uh, take everything you don't have to do any changes you, if you want you can change the location uh, of this particular virtual hard drive so everything will be default if you want to if you want you can change the size also i don't want to change anything let's uh, let's keep it uh, as it is and then we click on next after clicking on next uh, we have to install an ios file so click an operating system from a bootable cd or dvd rom after clicking here you have to install ios files uh, first you have to download the ios files i will put the, the uh, link in the description so you can download the ios files image ios files so already i have downloaded it i will select that files to install uh, see as uh, you can see here i have this uh, so first i'll install the server as i told it is pdc server then i will install the client version uh, this upper one so this is our windows server 2016 i'll click on this then we have opened the file got selected then we click on next after this uh, finish the server will start creating suppose see here the pdc server has already been created now the status is off if you double click on this uh, you will get a pop up see here uh, you can also click on here start or you can just click on the power button here you can see start uh, both are the same uh, i'll show you i'll click on start it will start our virtual machine so this is the machine which i was talking about uh, it required some ram uh, which we have given already so the windows will start booting so let's wait see here windows got booted then we click on next then we install the server here then after this setup is starting send will select the second option then after that next after clicking on next uh, we accept the license terms and condition then click on next and then custom installation you don't have to create any drives and all it will automatically allocate this so just click on next after clicking on uh, next uh, the server will get installed in your particular pc so let it install uh, once it finished i'll connect uh, again with this video so you can see here uh, it is uh, it has got installed uh, finishing up uh, the setup now to uh, ask uh, to restart uh, let's, uh, let's wait so here click on restart and after it restart don't press any key here uh, people do uh, usually mistakes here by uh, pressing any key so don't do any mistake and uh, it will start from re uh, like it, it will boot, uh, boot the windows from restart so don't click on anything automatically it will start booting uh, I, will, I will tell you how to disable that because every time uh, it show that pop up to uh, click cd or dvd for boot up i will show you uh, just once uh, it uh, get installed then i will show you how to do that so you can see here uh, we have uh, come here for the administration so we have to use password so we can use password as my server name was pdc so i'll be creating with pdc123 at so you have to put your password uh, i'll put on the screen how you have to uh, put the password here because if you if you put normal password it is not going to take you have to put a capital letter small and even letters sometime so be careful with that so so i'll put all my details here and i'll click on finish so it is finalizing your set, uh, settings and see here we got into our uh, pc sign out page this page so what you have to do is you can see here this option uh, until unless you click, uh, click on here it is not going to work your mouse or keyboard see here at the top corner you will find control alt delete just click on this and you will be rebooted so we have to type the same password which we have put there so it is okay i have typed my password then enter and we are good to go at our desktop so it is loading our desktop 
let's wait for a while until it loads so as you can see we are on the desktop and our server will automatically start loading because it is our pdc server uh, that is your uh, server 2016 uh, windows 2000 uh, server 2016 so it has been loaded and you can see your server manager is also has been loaded so this is how you have to create uh, an uh, virtual application uh, hyper v uh, in the windows and uh, you can create your virtual servers here so this is a complete guide and suppose if you want to off this one uh, like uh, uh, like how you shut down your pcs and all you just click here shut down it will shut down your it will ask for uh, one confirmation then click on shut down and it will close your system so this is how you uh, shut down your system and uh, the first thing which i was telling whenever you restart your pc you will get an uh, cd and uh, this uh, option to enable like uh, wait i will show you once again see it is uh, status of if you go to settings and after going to settings what you have to do click on bios and there it is cd so you click on ide and move up so what it does mean is uh, like id uh, they installed uh, uh, windows uh, windows 2016 server uh, which is installed in, in our ide drive so you click on that then it will not show a pop up uh, like uh, please click, uh, click any key uh, to boot from the uh, cd so if you apply and if we hit ok then it will not show i can show you once again uh, just click on here then start it will automatically uh, start from the boot page as you can see it started booting the windows server so this is how you have to create a server so you can create different servers and if you want you can uh, create different clients windows 10 how many as much as uh, uh, client uh, or server you want to install in this is this is the whole process of this hyper v so i hope you like the video uh, if you have any doubt you can comment me or uh, even the social media handles has also been given you can directly contact me so see you in the next video